one night i was the assistant to the head officer of the day over at patterson field and we had a hundred and fifty one phone calls come in of objects flying down interstate well that time u s forty then turning at columbus and going up to um, detroit um, and these were state policemen some doctors that were up late at night all kinds of people that reported seeing us we had radar tracks on them had airliners call in that they had seen them uh, very very interesting and each one that called in I had to run over to FTD and take the thing over and if I didn't get back in time and the poor colonel got awoken by the next call <laughs> I got balled out <laughs> But that was a very interesting night. And these guys, as I say, were not, you know, people who weren't used to seeing evidentiary sites and things like that. I mean, they were very clear descriptors of what they saw. Probably that. more than half of my career that was in projects that were classified or compartmentalized. There's giant triangles that appear over Palmdale that move very slow. So they may be different triangles from so they have these, the ones that I've heard about have these glow around them and uh, they, they're, they're very large and very slow moving. So that's different, I think, than the ones that appear over Belgium and that that are very fast moving. The ones that appeared over Belgium that moved very quickly in a few seconds, no, you, you can't explain that in unconventional physics. Just like if you use, con by conventional physics, I mean engines and jet engines and rocket motors and propulsion systems as, as we know them today. You put fuel in, you burn something, and it produces thrust, and it accelerates an object. Um, in, in that context, no. And in the con that kind of physics, you cannot explain any, hardly any human beings living long enough to go much, much beyond uh, the, the edge of our, of our little solar system. According to ex-CEO Ben Rich of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works, quote unquote, we have had the technology for interstellar travel since 1984, but most of it is locked up in black budget projects, compartmentalized and isolated from all the people who actually work on the individual technologies that have given us extreme advancement in excess of 100 to 150 years of what the public is aware of.